The Lofoten Islands, a stunning place with a story and a heart. In the last video, we travel from mainland and reached Solvir. In this vlog, we continue our journey further and will travel through Lofoten right till O, which is the last village. We boarded the bus in Swalbir for our next day. It was one of the most scenic journeys we undertook in recent times. Snow covered hills at one side and sea on the other. Everything was covered under snow, but still the landscape changes at every turn. It was so beautiful that you don't want to take your eyes off for a second. On the way, you get to see some fine beaches, fishing villages, small cozy towns all along the way. When you are travelling in the direction of awe, for the best views, we certainly recommend you to sit on the left side of the car or bus you are travelling in. Have you ever wondered what are those small seashore cabins in those beautiful postcard images of Lofoten? Well, those are called as Rorbur. The overwater fishermen cabins painted usually in red or yellow color, which is typical of houses in Norway. Today, some have been transformed into an accommodation for passing visitors. Staying in a Rorbur in the Lofoten Islands gives you a chance to connect with the local traditions in a comfortable way. Moreover, they are always located on the seashore, so you will likely to have an epic view. You will find everything from basic to high-end accommodation in Rorbur. We wanted to stay in the heart of the Lofoten but surely away from bigger towns. We chose to stay in Sakrisoy. It is one of the smaller places, yet it still offers everything that is characteristic of an authentic fishing village of the north. It is also the perfect base for exploring the raw nature of the Lofoten archipelago with a breathtaking sea, mountain view, red fishermen cottages that is the genuine Lofoten atmosphere. If you are planning to stay in Rorbur, you should bring your groceries with you and if it's a weekend then you should definitely be thoughtful for your food supplies because in winters there are not much travelers so most of the shops restaurants remains closed or open for a short duration only i am sure in summers when the days are longer they shouldn't be a concern This region is famous for its rich fishery heritage and if you are a seafood lover then there can't be a better place. Anita Seafood, one of the famous food joint in the area. It was just next to our place so we reached and ordered the famous fish burger of the place. As it was not crowded so we got a good chance to talk one of the lady working there and she was kind enough to tell us about the most important highlight of the region that is stockfish 
as we were early in the season so we couldn't see stockfish hanging on the shelves but knowing about them was an interesting conversation although the whole region is beautiful and offer stunning visuals from everywhere but you must not miss few places like hamnoi Hamnoi is the oldest fishing village in the stunning Lofoten. It is small but unbelievably beautiful. As per some, it is the most picturesque village in the municipality of Moskins and also a popular tourist destination due to its scenic and unspoiled nature. These are very short during winters so there is not much time to do many things but there is nothing much to do either so we utilize the daylight to explore the area as much as possible we decided to take a walk from Hamnoi to Rhine and explore the beautiful villages by foot it was a walk to remember Rhine It is the another main village in this side of the Lofoten with red and white fishermen's huts dotting the shoreline and surrounding peaks of granite. The village has earned a reputation for itself as one of the most beautiful village in Norway and a must see place around. Many of the best hikes on the Lofoten islands are within a short distance of Rhine and the fishing village of Å is less than 10 kilometers down the road. Å it is the town in the most southern tip of the Lofoten and it is one of the shortest name we have ever come across. It is now home to the Norwegian Fisheries Museum and the Stockfish Museum which explains the thousand year history of stockfish as a commodity. Northern Lights is the magic that we all want to see and as Lofoten lies in the arctic circle so chances of seeing them are high that along with the Lofoten's warm weather thanks to the gulf stream that makes Lofoten an ideal place to see the northern lights but just be aware that the weather here is a bit trickier So try not to have your heart set on seeing the aurora only while you are here. However, when you see it, it's a magic. We were lucky enough to spot some really bright dancing aurora borealis during our stay there. <laughs> 